Today, I'm going to show you a method for reducing a rectal prolapse. The procedure itself begins at the 2 minute, 6 second mark. Rectal prolapse is most common in the elderly and the young, but it can happen to anyone. Increases in intra-abdominal pressure can cause part of the rectum to be expelled through the anus. Once this happens, high pressure arterial blood can still enter the rectum, but pressure from the anal sphincter impairs venous return. This leads to increasing third spacing and edema, which can make manual reduction of the rectum almost impossible. Reducing a prolapsed rectum is a lot like love. You need sweetness, time, and a little bit of consensual pressure. Give your patients some sedation and analgesia and have them lie prone with the head of the stretcher tilted down. Then sprinkle granulated sugar all over their rectum. Through osmosis, the granulated sugar will begin to remove the edema. You can usually find plenty of sugar packets in the ER break room. Once you combine this with pressure, you'll be able to rapidly compress the rectum down to a more manageable size. A little gentle jiggling can make a big difference. Periodically, add more sugar, then go back to sustained pressure. <sighs> After a while, the rectum should spontaneously reduce back into the anus. It's impossible to describe but you'll know it when you feel it. The chance of recurrence is highest right after reduction. So tape the patient's buttocks together for the trip home. Remember to give them an urgent surgery referral and tell them to come back immediately if the prolapse occurs again. 